This is P&W Enduro. Today we're in the very wet Pacific Northwest. And I'm gonna do, I guess you could call it a long-term review on the Electron carburetor. Stick around, that's coming up next. the carburetor it was in the middle of summer at 30 plus degrees very warm put the carburetor on no adjustments and it totally ran great now that we're getting closer to winter the temperatures are cooler we've had some days below freezing I found uh, carb wasn't running quite as good kind of boggy on the bottom end I ended up going a half a turn richer and now it's pretty close to where it felt in the summer it feels pretty good now want to make any adjustments on the Electron while you're on the trail you're only going to need a couple things you need in a 6 mil socket um, Allen key I believe is a 732 it's a strange size and then this Electron metering rod adjustment tool you can do without this if you just use some pliers just make sure you put a rag on the reading rod or something like that so you're not scratching it so I've ridden with this carburetor anywhere from sea level up to over 8,000 feet and I didn't really find any noticeable difference in power which is great that's really why I bought it you not have to play around with jets and everything every time you ride somewhere different it does seem to be somewhat sensitive to temperature on the stock setting in the cold it, it wasn't running all that great but even then it was just simple half turn on the metering rod to get it back running nice and crisp show you how to adjust the metering rod on the Electron. First I've loosened the carb off and turned it towards the left side of the bike and then I've taken the three Allen bolts off the top and pulled the slide out. So this is your slide, this is what faces the front of the motor. You can see the flat part of the metering rod is facing the front of the motor. So all you're going to do is take your little tool, put it over at the metering rod, and then you're going to want to turn it a quarter turn clockwise for richer, counterclockwise for leaner. And you can see the flat side is facing the wrong way, so you're going to take your hand, push it up, turn it back, and it'll kind of snap into place. You want to make sure it's in place or it won't sit in the right spot. And that's all you need to do to adjust it quarter turn at a time, try it out. And if you want to go more, try another quarter turn. But you're probably only going to have to do this maybe twice a year, going into winter and then again coming back into spring. And if you live in a more moderate climate, you're probably not even going to adjust at all. I know a lot of people don't. But that's how you adjust the meter rod on your electron carb. advantages to the Electron Carb has turned out to be the fuel economy. 
I'm getting about 30% better fuel economy than I do with the standard carb. And I've done a couple rides where I've done over 100 kilometers and not even hit reserve. So that's significant savings. I'm probably getting three to four dollars average saving per ride on gas. Where I live happens to have the most expensive gas in North America. Currently a liter of premium will cost you a dollar sixty-four. That works out to six dollars and twenty cents per gallon. If I were to have anything bad to say about the Electron, it's that it may have lost a little bit of bottom end power compared to a perfectly tuned carburetor. But that's a trade off I'm willing to take for the consistent performance in all conditions. Electron is definitely an expensive upgrade. Now the question is, is it worth it? For me it has been, especially when you consider the amount I'm saving on fuel. This thing might just pay for itself over the life of the bike. After running the Electron for several months now, I'm going to stick with my initial impression and give this product two thumbs up. And it seems a lot of the locals agree with me. I'm running into more and more people running the electrons on the local trails these days. That's it for this edition of PNW Enduro. Thanks for watching and remember to hit that subscribe button. Until next time, see you on the trails.